Now let us start with the last layer of the OSI model which is the physical layer. So in this lecture we are going to talk only about the physical layer. Finally we are hitting the bottom of the OSI model. Well not in a bad way we have now arrived at the physical layer which does two important things. It sends bits and receives bits. Now bits comes only in the values of 1 or 0 that is a Morse code with numerical values. Now if you do not know what binary numbers are I suggest you to please see any video on YouTube regarding to binary numbers. You can understand in 5 minutes they are so simple. The physical layer communicates directly with the various types of actual communication media. Different kinds of media represent these bit values in different ways. Some use audio tones and others employ state transitions that is changes in voltage from high to low and low to high. Now specific protocols are needed for each type of media to describe the proper bit patterns to be used how data is to be encoded into media signals and the various qualities of the physical media attachment interface. The physical layer specifies the electrical, mechanical, procedural and functional requirements for activating, maintaining and deactivating a physical link between end systems. Now this layer that is the physical layer is also the layer where you identify the interface between data terminal equipment that is DTE and data communication equipment that is DCE. Now some older phone company employees still called data communication equipment that is DCE as data circuit terminating equipment. Now the DTE and DCE are the terms that is that you need to know and the data communication equipment is usually located at the customer end that is the client end whereas the data terminal equipment is the attached device. Now these services are available to the DTE customer are most often accessed via a DCE device. So the DTE services are accessed through DCE device. Now which is a modem or a channel service unit data that is CSU or DSU. The physical layers connectors and different physical topologies are defined by the standards allowing disparate systems to communicate. Finally the physical layer specifies the layout of the transmission media otherwise known as its topology. A physical topology describes the way the cabling is physically laid out as opposed to the logical topology that we just talked about in this section of the layers. Uh, now in the next lecture we will have a quick recap of this section of what we have learned throughout this section.